Hello everybody, this is Doug Hammock here, and uh, as the youngest uh, member of the family, uh, I have a unique perspective on the legacy of Mel Johnson. And uh, I want to just share three things with you that are really important life lessons that I have learned, and I'm sure all of us have learned. I want to, I'm going to jog your memory. Uh, of different things that Mel has done for you, even as I share uh, my story here. Hey, um, I'm the I'm the youngest of the three of the four brothers who had joined this uh, melded together family, and uh, I grew up my teen years. Uh, I'm, I'm the only one of the brothers that grew up with the, in the teen years. Uh, of sharing uh, this life, this new blended life uh, with my mom. And I was a direct recipient of the love that was shared between my mom and the man I called Mel. Um, he was like a father to me and he left me with really important life lessons and, that are the reason of I am where I am today. And only after I I applied them to my life do have I looked back and realized how much of an impact uh, Mel made in my life the first and most important one I think you all know this I think you all will agree with me on this was the faith in God uh, but not just a, a knowledge of God but a true deep down honest belief in that God is who he says he is and following after his way in his word is the most important thing to do. It is the cornerstone. It was the cornerstone of his life. Um, and it carried him through all of life's challenges. And even now in his passing into heaven where he gets to live out the completed faith. Uh, th this is the joy of the, the Christian life. This is the, the hope that we all have uh, in that. And it, it permeated everything uh, that Mel did. Um, we all need to follow that example and allow God to be first in our lives. And as it says in his word, then all these things shall be added unto you. That was the most powerful lesson I think I ever learned. No matter the circumstance, no matter the struggles, Faith in God will carry you, will carry me through. Uh, this was a very powerful lesson. The second thing that I think I, I got from Mel is hard work. Now, I don't mean just any kind of hard work, but I'm meaningful, powerful work. Uh, Mel was always learning and doing whatever it takes to accomplish a goal. Whether it was a hard task of finding new and efficient ways to do things at the job or just improving things at home, Mel planned and accomplished many things. Anything that was worth doing, he did until it was completed. Most times, those things were to help other people at church, in, in leadership, or in various family residences. I can remember when we went to Wisconsin, he saw a need that we had for shelves, for storage space. And he planned it out and we went to the store, we got the material, he built it and he stayed with it until we had those shelves built. I still have one of those shelves. And that was many, many years ago. That was 2001. Um, so th this is one of the things that he left with me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Working hard to help others, whether in your job or in your friendships or anywhere. It's the kind of stuff that changes people's worlds, even if on a small scale. But if everyone were involved with this, I think this would, can you imagine what it would accomplish? After all, 
is not love. Is this not love? Love like Christ. So when we look at it with that perspective, maybe the hard work isn't so hard if we realize how much it's impacting other people's lives and what a purpose it's giving us. So the final lesson was don't be afraid of challenges because they are the chances to be creative. Mel was an engineer, right? Through and through. <laughs> I can think of a time that he bought a truck and it was a truck that nobody would have bought. <laughs> um, but he saw that it could be repurposed and he bought this truck and it could be refashioned into a viable working vehicle. And we brought it home and he, he ran plans and that kind of stuff. And I, I got the chance to help him with this project specifically. And we rebuilt the firewall on the truck. We got the truck up and running, got it useful. I got to use it. And even when the, the, the shifter, the three on the tree, and you know how what the three on the tree is, right? Three on the tree uh, shifter gave out. Uh, all that was left was third gear. It happened to me. I was in the truck when it happened. We brought that home and he figured out a way that, it, I mean, he, he did a little bit of research and figured out what we needed and we rebuilt and made this really cool shifter on the floor. No truck has a shifter on the floor like this. It was great. Um, and that was just the ingenuity. That was just the creativity that, that he had. Um, I always remember, and I was always impressed with that. He helped many of us here. And if he didn't know how to do it, he figured it out. Never be afraid to learn a new way to do something so that you too can be creative. Be creative in life's challenges. Everyone here has memories that are different and yet the same of Mel. This is the legacy of Mel Johnson, that he leaves with me and he, which he, each and every one of us here, live a life of faith in God. Work hard so you can help others and learn so you can be creative. I may not be able to be there, but I, 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 can, I can see you <laughs> through this lens and I know that the legacy that Mel has had in each and every one of his lives. And I just wanna say, thank you, Mel.